What's up guys, welcome back to episode 4 of our Skyblock series here on the Neo Network server. So if you guys want to come along and play, I will leave the IP in the description below. But by the time this episode is out, it'll probably be New Year's. So Happy New Year's to all. I hope you have a great year. And let's get right into this video. So to start things off, we're just going to go through the progress we've made since last episode. And we've got a guy behind us. So we have managed to get ourselves a few spawners. So if we go to our spawners, we are now mob tier four, not mob tier three. Progressing onto mob tier four. So we've made a decent start. So if you guys again want to come and visit my island, help along with our mob tier, all you have to do is slash is visit Brandon AB underscore. And just like this guy, you can help! So, this episode we're just going to be working a bit on that actual island and just expanding it and getting a base so we can get some storage sorted, some other stuff, just clear things up. At the moment it's just a, a bit messy up there. But we did purchase this, which we will be opening at the end of this episode. So stay tuned to see what we get from this, because you can get some pretty good stuff. But nonetheless, getting right into it, we're going to head up to our island. And we're going to sort this out. So let's start by getting ourselves some grass block. Now it's going to be a pretty big build. We're going to start with the dirt. Grass, let's fill the rest of our inventory with grass. Cannot speak today. First, I want to see where the sky limit is. So we're just going to keep building up until we hit sky limit, which shouldn't be too high. Okay, never mind, it's very high. And we're still going. And we're reached. So let's. About here should be good. So let's just go into our settings and turn clouds off. Video settings. Okay, so now let's get rid of this massive dirt tower we have built up into the sky. Okay, so now that we've got rid of the massive dirt tower we have built, we're gonna try to create ourselves an island. Not a perfect circle, but a decent island. So we're gonna do 15. Switch it up. Okay, so we might need a bigger island, but for now we're just gonna stick with this. So we're just gonna follow along the edge. Okay, well we missed that connector. Let's keep on coming along. For you guys that's never actually seen me build an island, I'm pretty sure there is a video on the Pixelmon series we have. What I do is I just hold right click and just fly in the not symmetrical circle. Creating somewhat of this shape, more or less. And by doing that, we've got a more, a more natural shape of an island because we don't want to go with the perfect circle. Now we're going to use our favorite tool, which is Fast Place, and we're going to fill all of this in. And we were doing so well until the end. Now that we've done this part of the island, it's time for the hard part in which we got got under the island and now make it look look what's the word? We'll stick with natural. Let's 
Move them off a few of these long edges. Okay, there we go. Now, time to head under. In which we're gonna need stone for the most part with some dirt. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. But let's find where we put the middle is. If we first place, so let's do 15 and just see what it looks like. Add another five blocks, maybe. Okay, so we're gonna stick with that, and now we just need to make it come up to all the edges. And a quarter of the island is done. Doesn't look the best, but it's a start, and it's better than what I expected, to be fair. Hopefully at the end we can, um... Turn it around a bit. Okay, so now we're back after a big building session. So we managed to fill in the full bottom. We added some dirt so it looks like it's blending in. We've got cobblestone to make it look more worn out, as well as the leaves. And we do have vines growing in some places. We just gotta have that a bit of time for it to actually grow. Uh, we got ourselves a few trees for the decoration, some grass, we've got very trees, and we've also got some little bushes. Now, in the middle, we did leave it empty. That is because we're going to have a house here and maybe a little pond just over here or something. So far, it's, uh, it's a good start. And what's next is just moving all these blocks and making sure we're able to see. So we do have ourselves a texture pack for these leaves, which we're just going to try out just to see what it looks like. So we've got better leaves. We click done. <clears throat> now I'm hoping this is the right texture pack because we did have one that didn't work. And... Yeah, it kind of makes... It makes them look better, but at the same time, it makes them look not better. We can stick with it a bit, see how it pans out. But for now, before we open this Christmas crate, we actually need to build ourselves a house. So let's open up our chest. We have oak. We're not going to use, we're going to use some spruce. Some stone. We'll get the oak just in case we do use it. Based on what we got, let's see what we can come up with. Uh, if we do slash ice home, it should now be up top. There we go. Let's see. Edge of the house there. Okay, so we got a little L shape. Let's bring this up by, let's say, four blocks. Going across every single piece. Then let's increase it to 10. We're going to have the bottom stone break. Did place it in the wrong places. Okay, so now let's see if we can get some arc in here. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we're about to find out. Let's just do this corner here. Okay. 
Okay, it looks not too good. Okay, so once we strip the spruce wood, it, the oak would just go with the materials that we're using. Not the standard materials, but you know, it's something. You mix it up every now and then. So let's do this all the way around. I just do this in each corner. And then let's send it across. Now we just need to add add some more depth to the build so we don't we, so we don't just have flat walls. Flat walls is always a bad sign on a build. Once we've done this, we're just gonna cut out ourselves some windows, make some room for them. Let's say we get ourselves double right there. We're going to have a stairs in this corner, so we're not going to bother putting any there. A little kitchen utility in the middle. We'll have a stairs on this side, we'll have a little chest storage on this side. Yeah. Maybe we get a little double right here. <laughs> then get in the floors for the top. Just like so. Then we're going to need ourselves a few more walls up here, just before we finish off. And as we did at the bottom, we're just going to connect these over. In which we have no more spruce wood, let's buy a bit. Now let's make sure we strip all this, just so it's not forgotten about. Craft. Make some stairs. Okay guys, so uh, a bit longer later, we have now got ourselves a house. And it's looking a bit bare because there's nothing on the inside. We're not going to actually show the interior on camera, we're going to finish off the episode here. Firstly we need to empty our inventory and then we're going to get straight into opening our Christmas crate. So let's head over to our warp crates and let's see what we get. Start things off, we got a really cool animation. We've got a Christmas sword, chess piece, and bow, the pickaxe, the kill animation, and we've got a season 6 tag. So we've got two cell ones, a Christmas chess piece, Christmas sword, which is pretty good. we got two Christmas bows, a kill animation. Perk, 
We've got the season six tag and the Christmas skin for the pickaxe. Let's redeem all of these. Then let's head over to skins for the pickaxes. I'm assuming Christmas skin. Where are we looking? I don't seem to see it anywhere. Holiday skins. Easter skin, Christmas. Christmas 23. The Christmas pickaxe. Look at this little thing. I'd say that was worth it. So let's head over back. No. Okay guys, we're gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and subscribe with bell notifications turned on. And I will see you in the next one.